Since dating is definitely not in your advantage in 2022, I just don't understand why men would bother. Nowadays, women are more concerned with making males look good than with doing something worthwhile. This is evident in the way that women take advantage of men by calling them for gastronomic dates, ghosting them after the first date, ordering presents from them without asking for anything in return, and other behaviors. Therefore, I wonder why men would still prefer to date, knowing that you're going to take a fat lie the majority of the time. We oftentimes blame women for terrible things like hookup culture and the demise of dating. But are you guys aware that most of your problems with women would disappear overnight if you just quit taking part? Like if the majority of males on earth decided that dating would instantly change how women behave, but because it's what they do. So men who are thirsty still decide to date and sit, which is horrible for the other men who wish to find a respectable woman. The brothers who left us don't struggle with this. Just throwing that out there, by the way. Right now, the men who have chosen to stop dating are triumphant. Additionally, they are wealthier and happier than before. Therefore, I completely concur that guys should stop dating in order to avoid dealing with the BS. I'm aware that some of you still yearn to have your one woman wet your whistle. And I comprehend. I once desired my one woman so badly that when she burned me, I had to hunt for solutions. And it brought me to where I am now, advocating for the free agent way of life and warning males to be wary of contemporary women. And now, I came across a tale about a man who lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on a single peacefully. Even though this occurred in Jamaica, he still lost thousands of dollars since he decided to date while still married. Can we therefore feel sorry for the man? Because I don't support cheating on your wife, I myself don't. You have too much to lose by cheating on your wife, aside from the morality side of the debate. Why get married if you're going to cheat? So, let's get to the narrative that demonstrates why the aforementioned person should not date contemporary ladies. The story is titled Side Chick Won't Pay Back $1,750,000 Loan. I went into our account, but my wife is unaware of it. Okay, Chance, let's explore what happened to this elderly slacker who is writing to you for guidance. My mind is clouded and my heart is burdened. What had happened to me had never occurred to me as a possibility. I've got myself caught in a trap and don't know how to escape. I helped a young woman I met make a down payment on a property. She admitted to me that she had a lover, who had sent her money to aid in the house's purchase. It's a beautiful area. Despite using some of the money, she was unable to tell him what she had done. So I was asked to assist her. Oh, gentlemen, did you see the first warning sign when he mentioned that she already has a boyfriend? You are aware that she belongs on the streets. She also spent some of the funds intended for the house's down payment. In addition, Upon learning that she used some of the funds intended for, of all things, a house purchase. I can't even feel sorry for the guy because you're telling me that you would give her money to help pay for the house. And who amongst individuals offers a woman a sizable sum of money and expects her to repay it? Never lend someone money, especially a woman, and then expect them to pay it back. Just presume that if you give someone all by yourself, they won't ever pay it back. I've witnessed folks commit themselves as a result of loans that were not repaid. Furthermore, Anything you give a woman is regarded as a gift. Additionally, everything she gives you is viewed as a debt. Always keep that advice in mind. Let's move on. I am wedded. I also have a joint account with my wife. Without telling my wife, I spent some of the money. I gave it to this girl as well. My oversight was not requesting that she sign a contract. But since we were getting along well, I trusted her. I gave her $750,000, which is equal to $49.42 US dollars. And since she had asked for a loan and everything was going through, she promised to let me have this money in a specific amount of time. It has been more than a year. And I've been unable to get the money back. For a few months now, I've been unable to see her or enjoy my bedroom with her. I'm upset since her lover just got back from abroad. Gentlemen, icy water is currently flowing through my veins. It was a bad decision on so many levels that I have no sympathy for this guy. The initial error was his choice to lend her the money in the first place except in cases when it was necessary for business. I would never lend anybody that much money. They'd also agreed to provide me something of equivalent value to the loan with the understanding that if they were unable to pay it back by a certain date, the collateral would pass to me. That's the only reason I'm giving someone such a large loan. The second error he committed involved using funds from his joint account to buy peace for his side. In order to donate to his side shed, he actually went and took some of his wife's money. Greg is being asked for a divorce until the end of time. When it comes to money, women don't play. The top cause of divorce worldwide is because of money. So let's consider the bigger picture. 
The worst mistake he made was giving her the cash without a documented contract that included ink on paper and a signature. Man, he's gone. If he can't put that money back into the account without his wife noticing, he's completely screwed. And now that his marriage is in jeopardy, he's whining that he hasn't been able to beat her senseless. I'm sure drinking is an illness. Let's move on. I got a buddy to phone this young lady on my behalf after I spoke to her. The girl claims that I lied to her and that she never borrowed any money from me. I'm unable to speak to my wife about what I did with the money since I can't tell her. I sometimes claim that if I knew this girl and her partner were having an affair, I would tell them, but doing so may make things really difficult if my wife found out. Additionally, my kids would be impacted. I can't risk losing $750,000. I have a loss on what to do. Any recommendations? My recommendation is to employ a hitman. Hey, hello. Hey, I'm just having fun with you guys. None of the violence I support or promote is directed at women. He's in trouble though, in all seriousness. After a full year, he still has no plan for how to get himself out of this problem. What else can I say besides that he asked? I advise him to cease cheating on his wife, work extra hours or even two jobs if necessary, and do whatever else is legally necessary to recover the remaining funds while still making time for his wife. She therefore does not believe he is cheating. Besides that, I have nothing else for this guy. He wouldn't have been in this predicament if he hadn't decided to date this woman and had an affair. Men, this is yet another factor that should make you think twice about continuing to date contemporary women. In these streets, these women can be brutal and cunning, and kindly, for God's sake. Don't pay women so much or land them. If you're not wealthy, simply assume that they will never pay you back and act accordingly. Please give this story a thumbs up and subscribe for more about contemporary women. If you wouldn't have lent a woman so much money, please comment below. I for one would not. Additionally, to help the channel. Our PayPal and Cash Apps connections can be found in the description box below. Men, keep in mind that men who stop dating are currently winning. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.